still remember uh, the day I got drafted. Pick up the phone. Hey, how do you feel about being in the lineup talking? Uh, okay. <laughs> Obviously, it's a huge blessing, but uh, not all of it is blue skies. Being an offensive lineman in the NFL is very taxing on your body. Um, obviously, it's a very physical sport. Our position, if you don't get hit on a play, something's wrong. Something <laughs> went terribly wrong. And last year was probably the worst I've had in, in my playing days. Uh, ruptured a disc in my back, a lot of rehab, and pretty much staying at the facility you know, non-stop around the clock, all that kind of stuff. When I found out the extent of the injury, obviously it's um, disappointing because you I've worked so hard uh, to maintain my body. It might be time to think about some other things. I like, would have liked to end it out of the way, uh, preferably riding off into the sunset after a Super Bowl win. But uh, it wasn't in the cars for me. I, I was able to you know, walk away on my own. I've actually really been enjoying myself uh, since I retired. Gave me a chance to really go out and see the world, help you reach back into your community, your hometown, whatnot, help others out. You know, I started a foundation to help kids in my hometown and the surrounding area. You know, working towards going back to school, I should say. Even though I spent much of the you know, first 30 years of my life in some way or another uh, pursuing athletics, football, what have you. Even though it's that chapter's coming to an end, I'm just as excited about moving forward to what the next chapter holds to make the most of it.